Be me, Guardsman James, serving in the 37th on a farm world, currently sitting alone in the barracks. I'm so tired of corpse starch. I've bought two sweet bars for five months of salary. One would think a planet who only exports this would sell them cheap. Luckily for me, I took most of the thrones from some poor lads who I've been sent to the hospital ward. Before I had time to eat, the commissar enters the room with a jovial look on his face. Panic. He reaches for something inside of his coat. My time has come. He hands me a pamphlet. He then leaves the room whistling. Still me, Guardsman James. I have no idea what happened. Decide to check what the commish just gave me. The face when the pamphlet looks like pick related. Still me, Guardsman James. Got no clue what chaos is. Is it a trick of the commish? He usually likes order and law. Look outside the barracks and see what the other guys think about this. Some are reading with interest. Others find other uses for those sheets of paper. Decided to look at the content. If the commish gave it, it can't be that bad, right? Inside there are four pictures of people, nicely drawn. They look like those the Ecclesiarch carries. One is a chubby angel with green butterfly wings. He looks happy and caring. One is a regular angel with a blue book. He looks smug. One is a red angel with more knives than one would consider useful. They're all bloody though. The last one is a man. Or a woman. I don't know. But it looks beautiful. Being carried by other people. There are multiple questions. Asking about our preferences. What type of people we like. What colour suits us best and other stuff. Reminds me of those sororitas monthly magazines Brian's always carrying. Be me, Guardsman Brian. Just got my new sororitas poster. Got myself my own private area in the barracks to hang it. Commissar walks inside. He looks like a happy fuck. Is he going to tear up my poster? I swear the last time the sororitas was just showing her ankles. He hands me a pamphlet then leaves. What the fuck just happened? Be me, nice Commissar Trent. Nicest Commissar around. Really, I am. I don't shoot my men when they want to retreat from feral orcs. I just give them a seat in my catapult so they can go to the front line faster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a swell guy. I've been having trouble sleeping lately. Friends at the Ecclesiarch have been giving me pills for that. I like the pills. I'm actually having fun shooting orcs. Makes me sad when some of my men want to desert though. Instead of executing one, I decided to give him a sick ass tattoo and send him back on the front. Now we're twinsies. Can life get any better? Following the chaos sounds like a bit of fun, maybe, guys? Do you want to join in? <laughs> sounds great. Yeah. Choose not to read the pamphlet. Got better things to do. Open my special crate containing my treasures. Inside, there's dozens of posters of Sororitas. They're all from Sororitas Monthly. My prized collection. I'd have them all if the fucking Commissar didn't tear up my last one. My biggest treasure is the one with a kiss mark from a Canon S. I've heard she's from the Order of the Blue Robe. James says it sounds made up and the kiss mark is probably from a greasy rogue trader with a lipstick. I choose to believe otherwise. Fortunately, the Comish haven't found that one yet, but I still fear for it. Translated to Be me, Servitor Fee21B6. My body is a cage that keeps me from being from the one I love, but my mind holds the key. Still me, Guardsman James. Getting hungry now. Decide to take a bite out of one of my two sweet bars. If I read this pamphlet right, it's asking us who out of those four beings would we choose as protector? Ain't the god Emperor as an answer? Perhaps those are his angels. I've heard he has like thousands of them, with like dozens or so bigger and stronger angels. If it is that, then it's missing a few, that's for sure. I guess it's a popularity contest like Kyla from the Outer Regiment. Let's look at the first question. If you were to choose one last meal, would it be A. Black pudding B. Mushrooms C. Chicken D. Passion fruits E. All of those answers. I've no idea what any of those are. I, I picked D, but it has fruit in it, so it can't be that bad, right? A few minutes pass by. I'm at question 12. Have you ever felt excess of A. Intellect B. Rage C. Kindness D. Everything E. Everything but more? I don't know what to pick. I was about to choose at random when I hear tumult outside the barracks. My fellow guardsmen were shouting at each other, claiming their protector was the best. Those who choose the red angels were already throwing hands at each other. What am I supposed to do now? Still me, guardsman James. My brothers in arms are getting feisty over some angel nonsense. The red partisans have fetched their bayonets and are still yelling about blood. Meanwhile the blue followers are heading straight for the Comtar and the green ones to the latrines. With explosive charges? Fuck's sake. 
There are also those weirdos who just took off their clothes. Remember that none of them have showered in weeks. I'm getting sick. Well, at least I'm not alone thinking straight. Some guardsmen are trying to cease the hostile. <sighs> One of them is gurgling blood. Fuck, fuck! Where's the damn comish? Fuck this shit, I'm running to the nearest vehicle. I'm not the only one thinking that. Brian and five other dudes are also going for the jeep. We just started the car when we heard mechanical laughing behind us. Be me, guardsman, named Dave. Was cleaning my last gun with the boys when the happy comish came to us. He handed us those pamphlets and said something about great rewards to the faith. Did the stupid thing. Shared results, my friends. Some got the angel of nature. They seem happy about it. Steve got the angel of happiness. I hate that guy. He's a weird fuck. Most got the architect. When I told them I was the only one who got the angel of victory, they just laughed at me. Said a meathead like me was obviously going for that. You know what? Fuck those guys. I shot them with my last gun. The whole camp went in an uproar. Most were picking factions. Those who were with me chased the normies. <laughs> Some of my... <laughs> normies. Some of my fellow brothers seemed to follow my commands. Laugh out loud as I become their new leader. Normies, get out! Re so another text with binary, and it translates to... Be me, servitor. Normals going ape shit. Fuck, I wish that was me. Be me, Dave again. I'm taking over the camp. Most of the red followers decided to join my faction. I had to break some of them first though. No matter, their skulls will please the angel. In his glory we named ourselves after our protector, the Victorious. Those under the protection of the angel of nature just took everyone's shit, literally, and went their own way. They also took all the explosives. The blue nerds locked themselves in the comms tower. We're hearing chatting in there. Ain't no great victories against pansies so we just leave them alone. The weirdos took some trucks and went to the nearest towns and villages. Fuck, we got no vehicles. Fuck it. We got feet, and we're better than the weirdos. We don't need vehicles. Decide we need more firepower. Nab a few of the servitors and duct tape some weapons onto them. Now we just need to find a coghead so we can give them sentience, and make them celebrate with us and our new protector. Commissar Trent here. I'm in a good mood today. My friends at the Ecclesiarch told me to deliver those pamphlets to my troops. They said it's to make their job easier to educate the mass. I have to say, it's a good idea. They've even given me more happy pills today. They said I did my duty so great today that I earned it. I decided to go to sleep earlier today after distributing the papers. First time in a while I don't have a nightmare. I slept like a newborn. When the morning came, I made myself some recaf and prepared for the busy day I had ahead. I heard screaming in the distance. There was also this horrible smell, as if something was burning to the 20th degree. Without taking any chances, I took a happy pill right away. Everything felt better already. Went outside, the sun was warm, and the weather was perfect. The wind only made my hat fly like three meters this day. I'm lucky to have been assigned to Archipelago, planet of tropical islands and hurricanes. Dave and his fellow comrades are grilling shrimps with other guardsmen. Personally, it's a little too early for that. But hey, ain't nothing wrong with it. They all froze in place when they seen me. Dave mumbled something about angels, cards and deserters. This saddened me a bit, but I had a solution. I ordered Dave to form parties and gather their lost friends. We'll fight orcs today and have a good laugh about it. They all seem to cheer up. One of them even hands me a skull-shaped head with red liquid. Considering I haven't finished my recaf yet, I'll politely refuse and sent the boys in their way. I hope we all have fun today. This whole bit with the Commissar reminds me of that movie with Ryan Reynolds, The Voices. Oh, it's so good. See, if you guys haven't watched the movie, The Voices... With Ryan Reynolds. I'd highly oh, recommend it's it. It's so good. It's more, you would think, if you watched the trailer, it was like a comedy, but it's a bit more to it. Yeah. I would really highly... It's, it's, just watch it. It's a it. very good movie. Just go watch it. You'll enjoy it. Trust me. And now, the models of our website, brought to you by neckbeardia.co.uk. Get you all some of these titties. Dwarf titties, orc titties, cat titties, fat titties, the gases and we assist a bit. Vampires and goblins and all the buff champions and even hentai, yeah that too. Dragons, matagors, ogres and no some bugbearers and even more to you go still. Undead and demons and then our friend Pally and definitely not 40k. Wood elf, dark elf and lizards and Megan the slither and James the look cool as he stands. Beholders and kobolds and tyrants and only in a donkey with a frying pan.
If you don't want no models, then no need to bother. We now have subclasses and teas. Also, Garbro's book. Go have a look. Check out the link to Kofi. Thank you for watching our videos and giving our channel a hand. But this is the end, our viewers and friends. So let's get back to the video, man. <laughs> I fucking hate myself. <laughs> so more binary translates to set my spirit free, set my body free. Be me, guardswoman Trish. Everyone is getting worked up about these pamphlets the Commissar was handing out. Apparently they're from the Ecclesiarchy and they match you up with a saint, based on how you answer the question. Why not? It's not like I have anything better to do. Some of the questions are a bit weird or creepy. Would you rather A. Check your face in the mirror all day B. Saw off an orc's head with your bayonet C. Be immune to pain D. Learn the secrets of the universe A. I guess that seems pretty harmless, and I do like mirrors. Do you see yourself as a A. Charismatic B. Bloodthirsty C. Intelligent D. Cardly mm, Probably D to be honest, but maybe this is some sort of secret officer proficiency test, so A. Would you rather A. Kill someone B. Read minds C. Be immortal D. Have sex B and C will probably get me shot if the Commissar ever reads it. A will probably get me signed up for another trip to the front lines. Let's go with D. Technically against the rules, but everyone does it. Should be worth a few laughs with my squad mates when we compare answers, if nothing else. I get Angel of Happiness. Okay, whatever. She looks pretty hot. You would think a saint would wear some sort of top though. Maybe it's just the artist's interpretation. One of the sergeants is a bit drunk and says everyone should grip together by what saint they got. Head over to hang out with my fellow angels of happiness. Two horny incels. <laughs> that fat fuck. The chronic masturbator. Three peeping toms. Five attention whores. The up hive bitch with fake tits. Bodybuilder. The guy who wears eyeliner and hair highlights. Four sadistic edgelords. The masochist. The drug dealer. And fucking Steve. Creepiest dude in the regiment. Honestly, I don't think I would like to be in a Slanashi no. cult. It sounds like really a lot of fun on the outside, but then when you show up at the really sleazy, sweaty orgy with old people... No thanks. You kind of just... No. Back out. This was a bad <laughs> idea. Could be worse though. Angels of victory are mostly metalheads, bullies, and guys with anger management issues. The angels of nature got a couple of cardly betas. And a bunch of the cog boys, clerks, pretentious pseudos, and skull and graduates got the architect. Come to think of it, there isn't really that many well-adjusted people in her regiment. Steve jumps up on the table and yells that all the angels of happiness should be sky-clad. What the fuck does that mean? He then starts taking off his clothes. Right. Okay. That's not gonna happen. You know, I gotta ask a question. Whose dick's gonna fall off first? The Sklenashi cultist? Or the Nurgle cultist? I think it's probably a good bet on both. Like, but which one's gonna be quicker? The mm -hmm. both are gonna fall off. They're both gonna fall off at some time. I don't know. Let us know in the comments down below what you think. That's <laughs> on, boys. That's on, yeah. You know what? I'm going to put a straw pool then. Let us know. Let us know. Be me, Brian, former guardsman. Now he's still a guardsman, but leader of the Victorious. Commissar gave us a spook by showing his face while we made a barbecue. He strangely isn't angry. He looks pretty calm. I might have judged the man too harshly. He tasked us with finding the cards, so we took lunch with a catapult. He's my type of guy. We're bringing the servitor with us. Most of the nerds are locked in the Comtar, so we could press them to fix him. But where's the fun in that? We'll find ourselves some techies on the mainland. Hopefully we'll catch the traitors at the same time. All the weirdos and useless fucks are grouped together. Have fun groping each other with your fat, disgusting meat faggots. Trish is with them, per bitch. Well, it ain't my problem. Let's get ourselves some skull, boys. Be me, Bob the Guardsman. Been on the front line all fucking day and all fucking night getting shot at by orcs. I've stopped counting the Gretchens of murder today. It's like I'm rampaging in a kindergarten. I think the orcs are sparing me on purpose because they think it's funny. It is. I'm tired of this shit. Find the guy with the vox caster and ask him where the fuck is everyone? And why there's more green skins than humans in our trenches? He just points his finger at our base where the smell of shit and burnt human body seems to be coming from and says, I think a retard locked himself in the Comstar again. He reassured me it was his plan though. Whatever. Grab a bottle of Amasek with a paper saying property of Commissar douchebag on it. 
walk past the rampaging orcs back to my bunker and watch her radical tie cartoon about <laughs> fucking weeb <laughs> <laughs> about hierarchical deserters until I pass out last thing I hear before passing out is an ogren maybe an orc I don't care fuck you sitting next to me saying that episode's good while laughing and clapping like a big ugly kid be me nicest commissar that ever be Receive word that most of my men are on wild hijinks. Also, the orcs have pierced through our lines. At least it's the mainland orcs, not the pirates. Bad news keeps piling on. I'm too high to care. Pick related. Be me. Ogren Lunk. Boss says fight me fight. Ripper gun no fire. Sad Ogren noises. <laughs> orcs still come. Use gun as club. Bunk. Forget what doing. Try to remember what comes after two. Get shot in it. Be me. Guardsman Mark. Taking a shit on the toilet while pissed as fuck. No toilet paper. No. No! Remember I was given a fuck ton of pamphlets. Decide to use them as an arsewipe. Realise I'm left with one. Decide to give it a shot. Last meal. C. Chicken. Gimme tendies. Realise the other options are retarded. Realise the pamphlet is retarded. Decide to make up my own answers instead. Favourite colour? Black and white. Wish my father was... there. (laughs) Lucky Lucky number 11. Have fun. Remember why I'm so pissed off. Remember that Steve still owes me a hundred thrones. Remember that he used them to order six litres of lube and some phallic objects some time ago. Oh god. Remember that his time to pay it back is up. Pull up my pants. Go find Steve. Greet Trish on the way. Proceed to beat the ever-loving shit out of Steve. Where's my money, Lebowski? (laughs) Be me. Guardsman James, fled with fellow guardsmen, namely Brian, the Sororitas poster collectioner, Jerry, the skinny jock, Lenny, the wannabe toaster banger, Emily, the young twink of the camp, Colin, the big stupid one with a kind heart, and Charles, the arrogant fuck. We took a car, but it won't help us for long. Best plan is to head straight for the docks and hope that we won't get bombarded on the ship. Best plan is to hide at sea for a few weeks and eventually settle in an island. Just hoping we don't meet orc free buddhas. I'll finish eating my first bar of chocolate. That'll help calm me down a bit. I'm feeling generous too, so I'm sharing it with my comrades. After all, I could almost take a small nap. Hope Lenny doesn't fuck up while driving. Be guardswoman Trish. Steve is rambling some bullshit about the perfection of the human form. Everyone else on Team Happy Angel is either taking off their clothes or standing around confused. More than a few people on the group reek. Kind of like an out the fermenting sweat, piss and jizz. Seriously, people. We do have shower blocks. Use them for emperor's sake. Or just go stand in the fucking ocean for a bit. Steve gets agitated about something and makes a beeline for me with his tiny erect scarborous prick flopping around. Right, this shit again. Third time this month. The trick with Steve is that you have to hit him in the sack with something you don't mind throwing in the crematorium later. The man has every genital wart and pubic hair dwelling parasite known to man. (coughs) Grab a can of corpse starch off the table next to me. Naturally, it's one of those that's leaking and covered in black mould. Prepare to whip it at Steve's little Steve. But then Mark shows up and starts beating Steve with a shoe (laughs) while asking for money. Decide to slink away before I get hit with a 55W for brawling. Hope I don't get a 6-7K for disrespecting an imperial saint. Two hours later... Deciding to take a break from mopping vomit, blood and diarrhoea off the infirmary floor. By this time, night has fallen and things have gotten a bit odd. The camp is thoroughly divided between the followers of the four saints, with only a few people doing normal duties. Team Nature Angel are swimming in the latrine trench, scooping whole mouthfuls of Uh, filth into their mouths. Please stop it. Apparently it boosts their immune system like vaccines or something. I... Think I'll check with the doctor first. Team Architect Angel are all in the comms tower doing Emperor knows what. The Victory Angel had a big barbecue before being led to the front lines by the commissar. Looks like they were cooking some sort of long pig. Team Happy Angel. Seems like the place to be though. Shit is almost as crazy as one of those times the commissar OD'd on happy pills and made up a new annual holiday. We got an orgy tent, a bong tent, an orgy tent with bongs, a rave with glow sticks and what appears to be an amateur BDSM dungeon tent. Not really in the mood for any hardcore action though tonight. Particularly if Steve is still around somewhere. Hook a few glow sticks to my dog tags and belt. 
draw some vaguely lewd patterns on my shirt with pink lipstick. Then go hang out in the edge of the rave and enjoy a few IO sticks and watery munitorium standard issue beers someone stole from the officer's mess. Today's been a strange day. Be me, Guardsman Brian. Whole camp went to hell. Nearly didn't have enough time to grab my posters of sororitas before the red idiots went berserk. Now I'm in a jeep with a wannabe Sergeant James, a nerdy sport enthusiast, tech priest reject, Gaylord Bottom, and I can't believe it's not an ogren. Also, Charles, why is that pompous prick here? Dude would rather wash the latrines if it means he doesn't have to stand with anyone. Well, things could be worse. I still have my treasure, ate some chocolate and we're going on a boat trip. With a little luck there won't be any storms for like two to three days. Knowing our luck, I bet it won't go this well. Lenny is driving, and by driving I mean he's like an old woman who intends to hit every bump on the way. If we weren't guardsmen, we wouldn't be able to sleep. I wonder if the higher ups are aware of what's happening. Be me, Brian, leader of the Victorious. We've been running full throttle for a few hours now. The boys following me are beginning to get angsty. It's been a few hours those babies haven't got their blood. They don't have to worry. Brian always delivers. Talking of delivery, we find the traitor's cars. Looks like they all got the idea to go to the docks. All but one ship have sailed already. There are still people preparing it, like some of our cardly friends. Blood for the Red Angels! Skulls for victory! <laughs> they never stood a chance. Sadly, we didn't get the first runaways. Their time will come. Be me, Guardsman Colin. Whole platoon keeps calling me an ogre, but that's fine. Just escaped our outpost. Whole camp went crazy over some pamphlets or something. I don't know details because I was busy drawing. Be with Brian. It's not porn, it's holy relics. James, get the fuck out. And my new maybe boss, two twig boys, a techie, and Charles. James is nice and shares his treats with the class. My face when I'm allergic. My face when it makes my face swell up, making me look even more like an ogre. My face when Charles keeps loudly commenting on it. Be me. Still guardsman Colin. Be dying from allergic reaction. Have to strip down so I don't swell out of my armour. It's a hot kitty in summer. Hear explosions and gunshots in distance. Thought orcs, but not near front lines. Not near anything besides docks, really. Jimmy's a rustled. <laughs> I haven't heard that in <laughs> years. Tell Grip I have a bad feeling about the docks. We should try our luck elsewhere. Don't want to rock the boat, but don't want to die either. Be Gronk Bonehead. Love me job. Lots of shiny medals on my chest plate. Filling out this weird paper thing. Circle every answer as A because A is first. Grunk never settles for second place. <laughs> Go and stand with them weird naggy little ones. Maybe they're a little special. Grunk protects them though, just in case. <laughs> you love my orc voice? Yeah, it's fucking hilarious. I love it. No, I'm not doing it in the bedroom, James. <laughs> no! Aww. Come on, big boy. <laughs> no, please don't. Please don't. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Be me, Guardsman James. Accidentally give a part of a chocolate bar with almond nuts to Colin. I went with the almond when I bought for extra proteins. Should have remembered his condition. I pray to the God Emperor for a way to save him. We were the first arriving on the docks. Colin is telling us through his inflated mouth that he's got a bad feeling about the docks. Truth be told, I agree with him. But we're on an island with murderous former guardsmen, possibly on their way to kill us with extreme prejudice. And the medical kit we have in the jeep won't be enough to treat Colin. Hopefully there's medicine on the boat. With no time to lose, we set sail. Closely behind us are other deserters. And worst of all, we can see in the horizon the Red Angel follows. Let's just hope we won't sink. So, it's up to you guys. I thought this was an interesting one. We haven't had a cold shoulder-esque thread in a long time. So I thought, why not? If this is what you guys are, want, we'll definitely finish off the thread. But I don't know if we'll go much don't further Don't lie, you that. picked it because it said Guardsman James. Well, like, I was like, what the fuck's this about? <laughs> it, 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 don't get me wrong, it did pique my interest. Like, <laughs> what are they kind of trying to do here? But no, no, it's like, it more than likely it's got nothing to do with me. Let's be serious. Yeah. But it did pique my interest, I won't <laughs> lie. But yeah, I, I think that's kind of cool. I love the set and I love the idea. I, I wonder if the pamphlets have got some chaos warp energy going on in them. Yeah. And maybe they fall to them. 
no matter it's what. It's weird how, how quickly it happened, though. Yeah, I think there's some warped quickly involved here. Yeah. And what do you guys think the guys are going to calm Targs up to? Because they're definitely up to something. Yeah. They are definitely up to no good. I'm sure we'll find out. Oh, but... you know what they're going to do? They're going to, they're going to end up calling in an airstrike on themselves or something. Oh. And then the calm star, what else would they do? Oh, yeah. Oh, pro- I don't know. Yeah, they're probably, oh, oh, yeah, we're getting over on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that's yeah. definitely what they're going to do. Yeah. But if this is something that you have enjoyed, there, like, this thread is massive. massive. Yeah. Um. So let us know when we can carry on with it, because, as I said, there's so much more of it. Um. And it's very new. Yeah, it's still up in the minute. So Yeah, so there'll probably be even mm. more of it. Um, so let us know down below. And um, while you're down there, check out the links to the website for the models, the t-shirts and the subclasses. Um, hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye! <laughs>